This is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is a review of the Nightstorm Predator made by NECA. And you got this retro package that they made for it in small retro kind of art on the back here. And just description of them and pictures of the other ones they're making. Okay, here he is, the Nightstorm Predator out of the package. And he is from the, you know, he's like a tribute, sort of, to the uh, 1980s, or I guess it'd be 1990, Kenner figures of Predator, and uh, that's pretty cool that he did it, and uh, I did have several of the Kenner Predators, and I thought they were the kick-assiest Predators ever, and I thought nothing could ever top them Predators back then, and then of course McFarlane comes out, and then Nick comes NECA comes out and they completely blow away anything that they ever did, but still, Kenner still had some cool designs, I guess, some crazy predators that they made up. NECA did a better job than uh, any of the um, lines of predators, I think, like they beat McFarlane at this. Their predators are just amazing, and um, it is cool that they went back and paid tribute to that, like the original line of predator toys. And I actually didn't have this one. I had several of them, but I didn't have this Nightstorm Predator. Which is surprising because he was kind of cool. I don't know why I didn't get that one. But I didn't have them. Actually, I didn't have any of the ones that are in this line. I mean, in this series. There's three of them. I didn't have any of those ones. But I'll probably make one of the ones I had eventually. Anyway, um, here he is. He's uh, pretty cool. They improved him in many ways. And um, this is one of the, I think this might be the first Predator or one of the first ones that NECA made where the mask is removable. However, it's kind of weird when you remove it because his mouth is like open around it. But still, it looks cool, so whatever. Because that's what I think uh, Kenner's toys were all about was just looking cool. And um, this figure is kind of like a mixture of new stuff and old stuff mixed together. A mixture of um, stuff mixed together that not, I'm drunk. Just shut up. Okay. But anyway, like most of him is, you know, like repainted parts from the Super Predators from the Predators movie. Like you can see, he's got like this Predator's head on there, just repainted. Although it looks like he's got different hair, maybe. Unless it's just spread out differently. I don't know. Get out of the way, dick. I'm the dick. But, yeah, he's got parts of him. You can see, like, looks like he's got the same forearm there. And what else does he take from him? Um, got the same loin cloth. Yeah. Looks like probably the same feet down there. Same little feet. Mm, torso is basically the same. And then he takes from this predator, I think. Yeah, he takes this. This little thing here, he takes this part here, he's got that, um, what else, uh, I don't know, Did he take anything from this Predator, I think he takes this, yeah, he takes this right here, this part, he's got that, so he takes from all three of those Predators, but so what, it works pretty well, I think, and, um, and they basically say in a story, like, he's a super Predator to give him that, one thing that's annoying is these keep falling down on him, these little, thing is here. I think these are new. And um, this is definitely new. This skull staff thing is new. Um, this claw is definitely new. This big ass like little angled or curved claw thing is just awesome. It looks like it should bend back or something but it doesn't. Whatever it doesn't matter. It's freaking cool. And this mask is definitely new too. Which is cool. It's one of the most unique predators that they've made, and that NECA has made. It's freaking ridiculous looking. He looks crazy standing next to the other predators. He's like, "Hi, everybody. I'm crazy." Oh, whoa, oh, oh you're. Uh, I was gonna say I was crazy looking, but holy shit, man, this is a crazy looking predator. But he is really cool. I really like the skin color, the dark blue. It stands out a lot between the other ones because there was another blue predator. But let me grab him. Oh shit, I'm dropping predators. Don't fall down. Oh shit, I almost knocked him over. Okay, see, he was kind of bluish, but man, this guy's really blue. 
and then he's got the crazy gold armor, which is really different. I don't know. He's awesome. The story says something about he's like Egyptian-ish. So I guess that's what the, all the gold is for. Whoa. His legs are bending funny. Joints are a little loose on the knee. I don't know. But I like the colors. The gold. It's pretty sweet. That's a crazy design on a helmet there. Like I said, I still think it's weird that his mouth is permanently stuck open like that. Seems like I'd be a little uncomfortable. That skull staff is freaking sweet. It's awesome. It's got the spine wrapping around it. It's cool. I don't like how it is cool how they piece together the three different super predators to make this predator. It's pretty cool. I know they say they, they do that to save money on the molds because I guess, you know, I guess making the molds or whatever are expensive or something if they're not going to use them. So, I don't know. I still wish they'd make a female predator, damn it. I bet they got that planned, but I haven't seen it yet. Whoa. I don't know. But anyway, this is just a cool predator. I like his paint. I like what they did with the head there. I compare him to the, the head it's based on. That one's like gray and red. And this one's like, like dark blue and even darker blue. And then a like purple pinkish inside of his mouth instead of red. Oh, that's just different. It's pretty sweet though. I like it. I think they did enough to make him look different. And if they're calling him Super Predator, then it makes sense that he has the same shaped head as this one. So, I got this one first because he's definitely the most unique, I think, out of the others in this little series. Because the other two are basically just the classic Predator bodies, the three paints. And, they, well, they have different heads and stuff. But this one I think is really unique. He looks really different from any Predator. And I just think he's freaking awesome. So, can't wait to see what other Predators from the classic Kenner line that they make. Because this one's really cool. I like what they did. And uh, I'll do reviews of the other two if I ever get them. But I'm just buying so many toys lately. I'm running out of money. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Whatever. Um... The uh, articulation is the, um, you know, the super predator articulation. So if you have, if you have any of them, it's the same. It's like not ball jointed there, but everything else just moves pretty good. Uh, yeah. Look at all that shit. Yeah, he's good. He's articulated. Okay, get it. Well, his head can't move very much though. It's got that shoulder pads there. Uh, yeah. He's just freaking sweet toy. If you see him, pick him up because I think you'd be happy with them if you're happy with Predators. Um, if you're happy with Predators, you should quote me on that. If you're happy with Predators, buy this one. Yes. I think, yes. Definitely a sign that this video should end now. Thanks for watching, ha ha. Oh, damn it. Why don't you subscribe and eat? Or maybe click on one of these pictures here to see the review. Whoa!